On the bench top here, I have components of an electric kettle, that which in normal operation heats up water, and when it's boiling, it should turn itself off. Except this one doesn't turn itself off. So in this video, I'll show you components of its switch. We'll explain exactly what's wrong with it and what can be done about it. Let's take a look at the make and model number before anything else. So this is what I'm working with, looking like so. This switch is powered by the heat of steam. This steam, of course, comes from the kettle. The steam enters the top of this uh, tube here and comes out on the bottom, continues through this silicone fitting. And this D-shaped silicone fitting is mounted to this part of the switch, which is mounted over here so steam gets delivered to this part of the switch this is where steam hits this round disc here and this disc is responsible for opening the circuit providing mechanical motion physical motion to turn the switch off once you turn it on by pushing this thumb lever down so this rocker arm when it's mounted properly and with this disc underneath is the one that's doing the switching off bit it opens the circuit through this leverage there it opens the circuit there between uh, copper plates and there and other copper components so in order for this disc to switch the to, to lift this rocker arm and to open the circuit it needs to be solidly mounted on this tiny pin let me show you how this disc works it is uh, looking very unassuming but it is uh, critical that this piece does not lie flat it's convex or concave but whichever way you look at life and once it's heated up, and I'm just gonna use this candle flame, it should change its shape with an audible click in about, I don't know, five seconds or so. There. At the temperature at which it does it, it's, uh, my finger is not blistering out, so about 70 degrees Celsius, and once it cools down, you heard it, it it clicks again so uh, now it's about 40 degrees celsius maybe 45 say lukewarm let's click it again and if i put it on the table here you can see what happens to it and this is why it needs to be really solidly mounted as it cools down and changes shape from convex to concave its kinetic energy needs to be all transferred to this rocker arm assembly so if it's not solidly mounted on this pin it's uh, kinetic energy is going to be lost that's exactly what happened here this is there's nothing wrong with this disc the mounting is what is problematic because over time by changing its shape repeatedly how this is held in place is with this very tiny retainer ring which gets uh, loosened up over time uh, as it moves up and down up and down curls up curls down curls up curls down so this gets loose a little bit and if this one is loose on this pin and then it's not going to be providing the mechanical uh, thrust to tilt this rocker arm back up because it gets again turned on by being pushed down Okay, once it's pushed down, it tilts it in this way, and this disc needs to pop to turn it back up and to open the circuit through that leverage there, at these two points underneath these other two discs. So, this is how it works, and if this pin gets worn out, or if this small disc doesn't provide enough retaining force to hold this disc down, the switching off function is just not going to work. So it's very tiny, very finicky and fiddly. So that's what's wrong with the switch. I will try to put it together and hopefully it's gonna be working well enough.